Today I wanted to walk through some uh, of the workflow and uses for the formula editor and builder in uh, edit design data in Microvellum. Um, it's a really powerful tool and uh, you can use it to both build from scratch a formula or a function and you can also use it to uh, dive down into a function. Um, so if I come here which this I can access just by double clicking in a cell or if you hit F2 um, it opens up the edit formula window and then from here you have the formula editor and builder down here um, and so if you highlight a function, just the function, like here the if, and hit FX, it will drill down into that function and the different elements. Um, and it breaks it out into its uh, arguments. Um, so here for an if function you have a logical test, which is what we have here, then the value of true and the value of false. Um, and then over here it's going to tell you how each of those are calculating uh, and what what the output is um, and furthermore you can just keep going down the line into each component um, until you get down into the deepest layer of that function or statement and make edits there as opposed to trying to make sense of all of this in its entirety um, <clears throat> and then even from here you don't have to start at the top so I can come all the way down to this if statement here and that's what I get um, furthermore there's a help so for any function um, it gives you a little description of what how that function is supposed to work what it should do um, and then if you click in each cell it tells you down here what should be going in each uh, cell and what it's doing so that's how you can um, drill down into an existing function or formula um, but we can write a new formula altogether um, so if I hit F2, I can come here, and it's not going to type the equals for you, so I usually start by typing equals. Um, and then if you hit FX, it's going to say could not evaluate formula. That's because we did not highlight anything for it to evaluate. Just click OK, and it brings you to this dialog. And then up here at the top is a function list. And so it will give you every built-in recognized function essentially that you can use. Now there are other functions that it work in Excel that will work it in here that aren't on this list. Um, and they will work, but they will not be evaluated through this. So it's a little bit trickier. You have to know that syntax separately from here. But for any of these functions here, um, this will walk you through how to build it. Um, it gives you what parameters you need and what should go in each one. And then there's help. Um, and then beyond that, you can also insert names. So if you know there's a global or a local variable, that you want to use but you can't remember the exact format or name of it you can come here and you can look through your list of globals um, and then also if you click in the window you can just start typing and it will sort of filter you down to the first value that matches what you're talking about what you're typing in and then there's local variables uh, and there's actually AutoCAD blocks um, which I imagine it should be pulling in everything from the database and your graphics folder. Um, so this 
is very rarely used, uh, but could be used. So this is helpful um, because I can just double click and it's going to insert that name and I can use that in a function. Um, if you're building a function, you can do the same thing and it's going to insert that variable there and it's going to tell me what that value is. So um, using this, it makes it really helpful for building stuff. Um, so like here, I've got a pline token and I have my vector list built through a local range. Um, so it's telling me point 0.1 to point 0.10 is a range of values and down here and then I'm okay so I'm uh, delimiting that range by a pipe symbol to give me my vector list in the format that I need. Um, and then down here it's going to be telling me what that range evaluates to which there's too much text. Um, you can kind of see it down here I guess. And essentially that's what it's spitting out down here. But if I were to want to build that again I could hit F2 I need range to string and then I need my range I know it's a local variable it looks like it doesn't show local uh, sub-assembly level prompts which is what I'm actually looking for not a local variable it's a sub-assembly variable um, and so I think that that is just an option that's not available um, but anyways I know that it is so right there it's t telling me what point one evaluates to um, if I need a whole range and then for characters and text that aren't uh, variables you've got to enclose it in quotes and then it's a, um, bringing that out here telling me what that is giving me I in insert I have built that function or that formula and voila so um, that's just an easy way to build something when you kind of know what you're looking for, but you don't know the exact variables. Um, the same thing here. I can evaluate and drill down into this offset, um, range to string, and then within it is an offset. Um, and then even in there, I wonder if it would let me evaluate this. It doesn't know what to do with a row. So there's an example. Here is an Excel function that is not in my function list. Um, so it doesn't know what to do with it. So it's not going to evaluate it, but it works. Anyways, um, it's a quick overview and walkthrough of the formula builder and function editor. Um, and hopefully it uh, you find that useful.